Hey, what's going on everybody? Nanun Mint here, bringing you another cool video. Now, recently, I watched on YouTube that Omar Gosh was challenged by the Ireland boys to make a forest fort. So here I am in the forest. Omar Gosh challenged all of us. He said, I challenge you to make a forest fort. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys today. So go show some love and support to Omar Gosh. That is his YouTube channel name. He's really awesome. I watched his videos from literally the beginning. And he challenged me. He challenged you. He challenged everyone to make a force fort. And to send it to his Instagram or his uh, other online social media. Send him a picture of it. So that's what I'm going to do. So make sure you go and check out Omar Gosh on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please leave it a like. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And to remember, I'm going to nominate somebody at the end of this video, just like he did. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a like, subscribe if you're new. Hope you enjoy. So I'm sitting here with all these bugs in the middle of the forest. I just spit on myself. Yuck. I got my GoPro up in the tree recording me. I got my phone and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to make this fort. Now, there's you're only allowed three items, okay? Omar said two items, but you know, he also brought out his secret webbing. Um, item, you got to go check out his video. I'll leave a link in the description. His video was pretty cool. So technically he used three items. I'm not going to tell you the items he used, but he did use the secret webbing. And so technically he had three items. So I'm going to use three items. I'm, by, I'm out here by myself. I might have to continue this tomorrow because I think it's going to storm, but I'm going to hurry up and start this. And uh, I'm going to show you guys my items right now. Number one, first item I brought was a mini shovel okay second item I brought so I can cut trees um, some small dead ones obviously you can see there's dead trees everywhere I mean I'm on my parents property so even if I do cut live trees it's okay so second item little mini axe and uh, my third item so I can bind everything together string um, I don't know if you guys would consider there's two items or not um, because it's yarn and string, but it, they're both a type of string, so I'm just going to consider it one item. So that was my three items, and uh, I'm going to get building this thing, and I hope you guys enjoy. So, so far, I got one hole dug with my little shovel, and I am literally dripping sweat. It's hot out here today. And just like what Omar said in his video, um, ho hopefully you, got, you watch this, Omar. If you do watch this video, please let me know in the comments. I greatly appreciate it. The same thing what Omar said in his video. It stormed yesterday like crazy where he lived. And I'm telling you what, it stormed horribly here yesterday too. Horribly, 40 mile per hour winds, down trees everywhere. Rain was absolutely incredibly ridiculous. There's bugs everywhere. And the lightning, the thunder, that, that's, that was a shocker. It was so loud and so striking that man i'm surprised it wasn't fires but i guess the rain kind of put that out but anyways got one hole dug i'm gonna meet up with the guys once i get like all the holes done and the poles in and stuff all right peace so i figured i got a hole there and a hole there and a hole there i'm probably gonna bury that hole in i'm gonna use that tree that tree that hole and that hole so I need two long stakes for the corners. So I'm gonna take my little ax and we're gonna go find a couple little trees. Wow, that's really freaking weird. Look what I just seen in this tree. 
That's freaking crazy. Look at this. The can was stuck on top of the tree. The tree grew around the bottom of the can and back up. Isn't that crazy? Oh my God, it's pried in there. Holy crap. Wow, that is insane. The can ain't even going anywhere either. Wow. That's freaking crazy. I've never seen something like that before in my life. Man, okay. Grab my axe. <sighs> oh, big dead trees. I want the two smaller ones for the corners to be kind of live because I might come out here and stay the night in my fort eventually. <sighs> and there's bears out here. Coyotes. They've definitely, they've definitely been spotted out here before. So, anyways, I'm just wetting my buns off. I'm going to find some little trees and I'll catch back up to you guys when I get them back to the fort area. All right, peace. So I'm absolutely sweating my you know what off. And uh, I got my four poles, tree, tree, pole, pole, buried them in the ground. This pole I'm gonna attach here. It's just sitting in a little notch for now. Um, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be the start of my wall. Man, this is taking forever. Yes, if you are wondering, I am still working on the fort. And turn my GoPro off. I'm sweating bullets. <laughs> As you can tell, you guys gotta see what I've done so far. So, I got my top half where I can walk right underneath it without a problem um, all the way around so that's like the top part now I think I'm gonna put the door like right here and then uh yeah really hot out here absolutely crazy I never thought it was gonna be so hot and it's actually cool because hopefully I can get this almost done because we're supposed to have 75 mile per hour winds tonight and tornadoes uh, here in Michigan. So it's supposed to storm really bad. I'll show you guys the storm too if it storms really bad tonight. And then tomorrow I'm going to come back out here and finish this. But as of right now I'm going to keep working on it. So yeah. I had a bug on my arm. Anyways, I can't keep working on it if... I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> so anyways, back to work I go. So I had a brilliant idea with my fort. <laughs> Got ant on my phone. Okay, so I'm gonna chop down these little bitty pine tree branches. I'm gonna tie them up up there with the limbs. As you can see, the limbs are really bendable. So you can just tie them right up. And then I'll make a perfect camouflage wall. That's what I'm gonna do for the walls, all the way around. Hopefully that'll work a lot better than using this thing to chop branches, See, that's ridiculous. But yeah, I mean, I'm slowly coming along. It's starting to get a little bit darker. I can hear the thunder coming in here soon, so I'm gonna have to quit soon, but I see a lot of these pine trees around, so I'm gonna go get a bunch of these branches, but this is how it's coming along so far. I got a long way to go, but It'll look good when I'm done. As you can see, I got a little bit more done, but I'm thinking about calling it quits. Just because I'm sweating to death, I ain't gonna water out here. I was an idiot, didn't bring no water. If you, if you guys are gonna go out in the forest and build a fort for the forest fort for challenge, bleh, tongue twister. If you guys are gonna come do this, make sure you bring some water and some protection. I'm hearing coyotes out there, there's bears out here, cougars, or whatever else, freaking I don't know. I know there's bears and coyotes. They will attack you. I do have a knife on me. I did not use it at all during this build. It's 
make sure you guys bring some water at least because as you can see I'm sweating my buns off and I'm thirsty this is how I got so far what I've gotten done I got like partial wall there and some wall there but uh this is what it looks like and hopefully it'll be done here freaking soon because I'm going to have to come back tomorrow. I think I'm going to gather up my items. Call it quits for tonight. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Alright. I am back. Out in the woods. For day number two. Of the four sport challenge. Oh, I recorded the first part of this video. Days ago. And I've been having some problems with power outages. The internet was down. The cell service was down. Basically, everything was down for days. It kind of sucked. Uh, we had a really hellacious storm come through. And it took out everything. A lot of down power lines. There were tornadoes that came through. And it made for I gotta remember there's bears out here. And other animals. I just seen something running. I don't know what it was. Anyways, the storm made for very bad days that I couldn't make videos so if you guys were wondering why I didn't make videos for a while well, this is the reason the forest fort that I had started is still standing it's doing pretty good here it is um, I'm gonna have uh, video footage and aftermath at the end of this video so stay tuned into the video to check that out I'm gonna get this forest fort done and I'll keep showing you guys that the storm was crazy we had tornadoes coming through straight line winds 75 to 80 mile per hour winds it was crazy um, this is like four days later um, also what stopped me from making videos was that I recorded too much of the storm and I had too much on my SD card and on my internal storage and I had to go through and kind of delete some because I just couldn't upload this video I had too much used up space so in order to export this video you had to have free space and I couldn't do that so that is why I didn't make videos for a while the storm really put a damper on a lot of things people lost their houses due to down trees and all kinds of stuff so now that the electricity is back on, cell service is back on, Wi-Fi is back on, and it might actually rain today because it's really not a good day either, but I'm going to try to get this done. I did have my GoPro at first, but now I don't have it today because I didn't want it to start downpouring on me in case it did. I didn't want it to get all wet. So anyways, I'm going to show some more clips of this forest fort getting done. Maybe I'll stay the night in it a time or two for you guys. Just let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see that and bear infested woods I have seen bears in these woods but I haven't seen any recently so that's pretty good but anyways stay tuned to the end of this video to see the crazy freaking storm we had it was pretty epic and uh, hope you guys are enjoying this video if you are please remember to smash that like button smash that subscribe button smash a bunch of comments down in the comment section below section below yeah so that I can read them okay so yeah with that said, this is the forest fort that I had started. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. I got like my main four corners up in the base and a little bit of the walls. So I'm going to keep getting this done. And uh, yeah, day number two. Here we go.
watering the spring hole right now. But I wanted to show you what I got done so far. So kind of hard to see on camera. Got my shovel in there. That was my first tool, second tool. But my third tool was my string and I left that in my car. But as you can see, I'm making like a roof now. And I got the walls pine treed up pretty good. That one I got to work on a little bit more in the back one, but I guess I got to work on all of them. Go inside with you. So there's plenty of space in here. It would definitely work good for staying the night. I'm going to come back and work on this from time to time, but for the most part, I'm pretty done. I know I got to do the front wall door area and a little bit you know, down underneath here but uh i want to make the walls thicker the more i mess with this fort i got the hiccups i have the hiccups like 40 times a day it's crazy yeah. but yeah this is my forest fort it's really starting to rain now it's pretty cool it's not too bad I mean, I like it. I'm gonna, I got a bunch more stuff I'm going to put on real quick, so I'm going to keep working. I'll show you when I'm completely done and ready to call it. So I am currently done with my forest fort. I built it up best I could. It's over there. I will show you guys that here in a second, but I was walking over here and I found a bucket. Now I'm pretty sure this is probably something somebody's hunting bucket. You can see they have a strip nailed across the trees where they're leaning stuff against. So there's a bucket right there. And I'm gonna put that bucket in my forest fort so I can sit down on it when I'm in there. Because that'll be oh I just got stabbed with a freaking stick. All right, I got the bucket. Now we gotta go back to the fork. It's way over there. All right. If you guys see or hear anything in these woods that I don't, please make sure you let me know, like in the background or anything, because I could have swore I heard a growl out here. It was loud. It was like a bear or something. But anyways, Put that down in there. Check out Force Fort. It's pretty cool. Obviously, every time you're building something like this, you could always make it better. But for now, it's got a pretty good roof on it, pretty good walls. It stands out in the woods like no other, I can tell you that. And as you're looking around, nothing looks like this. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty noticeable. The reason why I got string on the trees so that I could tell my way back because the other day in the first part of this video, I ended up way over there and I couldn't find where my poles were because I didn't it didn't look like this before. But yeah, let's go on in. There we go. I gotta work on the roof a little bit and the walls a little bit more. I'm just going to keep adding pine trees to it to make it waterproof and less visible. But I mean, for the most part, I mean, it's pretty nice, right? I think I did a pretty darn good job doing it all by myself. It took me a lot of hours. I mean, since I started the second half, I've been out here for probably two hours already. So it's really hot out here in the woods, especially when you're working and stuff. But hopefully if you guys enjoyed this video I know I enjoyed making this video and I enjoyed making this force fort so this is where I'm gonna conclude it I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes I only used three things like Omar gosh did and this is gonna be totally awesome 
I will come back and stay the night in here. If this video gets 30 likes or more, I will come back. First, I will come back and do a 3 a.m. challenge in here in the middle of these spooky woods. But if the video can get to 50 likes, I will come back and do a... Uh, no, I already said 3 a.m. challenge. I will come back and do a overnight challenge in my force fort. Obviously, by then, I'll hopefully I can make it a little bit better. But this is where I'm going to conclude my force fort. Only things I used was string, a little mini axe, and a shovel. And it's my, my uh, tripod I kind of broke for my phone. I snapped it when I was out here, but that's okay. I'll get a new one. But yeah, look at how amazing this fort is, guys. Please let me know if you think I did a good job by myself or if you think I could have done better. I mean, you could always do better when building something like this, but I thought I did a pretty good job. It's a pretty far in the woods. Um, I used a lot of trees. You can see I used this tree here to make it. It's absolutely freaking awesome. I enjoyed doing this video for you guys. If you guys liked this video, please remember to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and smash a bunch of letters and comments down in the comment section below so that I can read them and comment back to you guys. Click the post notification bell so that you guys can get notified when I upload. I will be back to doing videos all the time for you guys. Like I said, the storm was pretty freaking crazy. This thing was took a long time to do. I filmed the storm and I was filming this and I ran out of space and so many power outages and cell towers were out and everything was just out of power. All the stores, I went dumpster diving a little bit after the storm like the next day and everything was still out of power but the stores went in and threw everything in their coolers in the garbage. All ice cream, all food that was supposed to be cold, sodas, everything. It was crazy. I did not film that because I, I didn't have enough space to. But I will be going back dumpster diving for you guys. I know you guys love those videos. I got a bunch more videos up my sleeve to do for you guys. But anyways, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please please subscribe. Hit the like button. I greatly appreciate it. I do all these videos for you guys, not for myself. I don't make... I made like 30 bucks on, this, on my entire lifetime doing my my channel. So... I ain't worried about the money. You know, this is just an absolute fantastic fun thing for me to do and get out with my family at times and do for you guys because you guys enjoy it and I love doing this videos for you guys too. So please remember to click the subscribe button for me. It shows me some love and support and uh, I greatly appreciate it. With that said, I'm going to get out of this forest, take one more look. Tell me how I did down in the comments. I thought it was pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and remember, here comes the storm in the aftermath. Here we go. It's only about 30 miles per hour because we can't see where we're going. It's really windy, raining like crazy. People are pulling over because they can't see. I don't know what to do. The tree's in the road. Be careful. There's another one right up there, honey. Oh my God, call my mom now. Uh, look, we can't get home. Honey, look. Holy crap. Let me call my mom. Like, let me. I was just out there at the second tree. I broke some branches out of the way so we could drive through it. I'm absolutely soaking wet. We 
gotta go around them. The bank is pretty soft, but I think we'll be all right. I snapped them out of the way of the road. As you can see right here, we should be able to be okay to get around it. Aiden, just be careful. That's my dad. Oh, oh, there's a cop. Here, keep recording. There's a cop over here. Keep recording the cop and everything. I need to put my belt on. Yeah, because you can't make it there. That's not a cop. That's a first responder. No, so uh, he's gonna cut the trees out of the road so people can get through. So they got the road blocked off that way because one of the park trees fell down. And uh, as you can see, there's down trash cans and lots of trash on the road. It looked like a maybe a partial tornado went through. It was pretty bad. Everything's flooded and uh, it's cleared up now. But yeah, I want to show you some of the trash on the road. You can see down tree way down there on the road. Look at all the trash in the middle of the road. That's crazy. Definitely looks like a freaking tornado went through here. So, whole back alley is flooded, and we're going to go flossing through it right now. With my window open. Oh, she's nice. Cool.